Acute lymphoblastic leukemia is also called ALL, and it's a cancer of the blood system. It usually starts in the bone marrow, which is where the, the blood cells are formed, and it's a cancer of the white blood cells. Um, what happens, it, we think, is that a type of the white blood cell, uh, the um, cells that become lymphocytes, um, begin to grow uncontrollably and take over space in the bone marrow and usually eventually come into the bloodstream. And so uh, um, those cells uh, are found throughout the body and eventually can cause a number of other problems. One of those problems is that they take up so much space in the bone marrow that the normal blood cells can't grow. And so um, when children are diagnosed, they often have low numbers of normal blood counts. Um, the healthy white blood cells, they tend to not have as many of, and white blood cells are used to fight infections, so they may be at risk for infections. They may have large numbers of these unhealthy leukemia white blood cells, but they don't have enough of the healthy ones that, that do the, the, you know, the good work of fighting infections. The other cells in the bone marrow are red blood cells that carry oxygen, and so the child may be anemic at the time that they come in um, with low red blood cells. And then the third type of cells in the bone marrow are the platelets that help to form clots. And, uh, uh, and so the child may come in with bruising or, or, or some easy bleeding um, as part of, of what they come in with. And, and so if leukemia is left untreated, it causes all of those problems and, um, and really can cause um, ultimately problems throughout the body um, as it takes over the, um, some of the organ systems of the body. So we try to treat it quickly as soon as we know that that's what it is.